this video, I'm going to show you how to build a full song in Suno Studio. So somebody in my comments asked me, is there any chance you could make a complete tutorial in Suno that walks us through the whole workflow? Importing the acapella, matching the tempo, adding instruments, mixing tracks, and getting a clean professional result. So that's what I'm going to show you guys how to do in this video. So to start off, we're going to drag our acapella track into Suno Studio. Once the track is imported, we're going to go down to this tempo here and make sure that it's set to manual BPM. And I'm actually going to change this to 140 because that's what I want the song to be at. Now I'm going to make sure that the song is lined up on the 1, which it looks like it is. Then I'm going to click on this button down here and play the metronome and make sure that the track lines up with the metronome. Why are you all that I want? Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go through and identify the verse, chorus, bridge, pre-chorus of this track. So here is where the pre-chorus starts and this whole part before it is the verse. What I'm actually going to do is is I'm going to select this whole part here and then I'm going to go down to this bar in the middle and I'm going to click on this thing that says song and then here in this section is where you can prompt the AI to create different instruments for our track. I actually like clicking on this one that says songs. So in this style section is where you can describe what you want the AI to create. I'm just going to say melodic dubstep with epic orchestra strings and choir. I'm actually going to specify intro and verse then I'm going to click done and then I'm going to click create. If you guys look over here in the left hand side, it created two tracks for us. If we click on these three dots right here, click on show take lanes, we can see the different versions it created for us. I actually like this one. I'm gonna drag it over one bar here. You told me to let go. So I try to so the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to identify the pre-chorus and the chorus of this vocal. So this selected part here is our pre-chorus and our chorus. And the chorus is actually the drop for this. I'm actually going to select from the start of our second verse all the way back to the intro of our track and try to generate the drop. So I'm going to say melodic dubstep with epic synth drop as our prompt. And I'm going to click create. Okay, yeah, guys, that created us a very nice pre-chorus and then this is a drop and it leads off straight into our second verse so yeah that's really awesome i'm actually gonna delete this here i'm gonna do a little bit of a fade here so actually what i'm gonna do for the second verse is i'm gonna take our first verse and i'm gonna drag it over then i'm gonna line it up with the second verse here this part right here is part of the intro i'm actually gonna fade it in and uh let me just let, play this and see what it sounds like All right, so that works. Say we wanted to add drums to this part up here, we could do that. So basically, yeah, you just select the part where you want the drums. Then instead of choosing song, I'm actually just gonna choose drums right here. And I'm gonna say melodic dubstep drums, and then just create this and see what it gives us. So now we have the second pre-chorus and then our second drop. So if we want a different melodic dubstep drop for our second drop, we could try what we did in the first drop. This time I would select the first verse, the second pre-chorus and the chorus. And then I would say in the prompt melodic dubstep drop. All this time. So say we like that, then we can shorten this clip here. Maybe I'd bring this back a little bit and actually have it fade in. And if you're not the one uh, Another thing I could do is if I actually wanted this pre-chorus part to build up more I could grab this clip here move it in and place it on top of this clip too All right, that actually works pretty good I'm actually gonna take this drum hit here and I'm gonna copy it and move it over <laughs> And I'm actually going to shorten this clip out here a little bit just because there's an impact sound there that we don't want. Now for this bridge part here, I'm actually going to bring in this instrumental piece from our intro slash second verse and play that here. Uh... And then we have this outro part here. I might want to have this keep playing. No, 
And then, yeah, maybe I could have this final crash here at the end. Or I could have it right here, maybe. And I could even take this impact sound and move it to the end here, actually. Okay, so yeah, here's our song. If we like this final result, say we're like, I love how this sounds, then what you can do is you can select everything, and then if you just right click, you can press this button that says download.wave. That'll just download the song as a wave file, and it basically just exports it as is. It just bounces down everything consolidated into one track. So there's actually one other way that you can create a song in Suno Studio. Um, this is kind of the way that I like doing it. Basically, I have my vocals here, and then I have this song here that I'm working on. And um, this is like a cover of another song I imported into Suno. I can combine these instrumental tracks with this instrumental acapella up here. So uh, yeah, let me just play these two together uh, so you guys can see what that sounds like. Yeah, as you guys can see, that sounds pretty good. To me, I actually really like this version better than what we did um, previously in the video. I actually like doing stuff this way when I'm creating my songs. Um, and that's because I actually am able to have more emotional attachment to the song if I compose the melodies and chords myself. So when it comes to mixing and mastering your tracks, that's not something you really have to worry about with Suno Studio. So if I zoom in here, and if we just look at the audio for this track, it actually looks pretty Pretty good. When you listen to it, it actually sounds like it has a good mix. The reason it sounds like this is because Suno has its own mixing and mastering pipeline that it runs the music through when you bounce it down. So basically, Suno automatically adds compression, mixing, and mastering, and it just makes it sound good. It's basically like an AI mastering mixing tool that it has built into it. I would say if you're the average user and you're just bouncing down songs you've created in Suno Studio, you really don't have to worry about the mixing and mastering. So that's it for the video, guys. Thanks so much for watching. If you liked it, if you give it a thumbs up, if you have any comments, um, put them below. And uh, yeah, if you guys could subscribe, that'd be awesome too. And um, I'll see you guys in the next one. Have a good one. See you later. Bye.